of among many qualified people. I'm the best qualified people for, person for this job. My name's Joe Biden. I'm running for, in this case, running for President of the United States. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other person. I propose, and I'm going to digress slightly. I, here we, we're in a situation. I, the president asked me to head up a cancer moonshot. I want to thank uh, uh, Rich Fitzgerald, the county executive, Allegheny County executive, for being here. And Guatemala, El Salvador, and and uh, with to, to win and say in Honduras and say, look, President Biden, just to be clear. Would you or would you not rejoin the TPP, yes or no? I would not rejoin the TTP as it was initially put forward. Well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth, for, a, a trillion four hundred billion worth, out of a billion four hundred million, excuse me, a trillion four hundred billion dollars. It's hard to even say it so much. I know I'm called middle class Joe. It's not meant as a compliment. Means I'm not sophisticated. And by the way, it's cost a lot of money. It cost about 740 million billion dollars over 10 years. Every single solitary person qualified in community college, in college, increasing, increasing number of six to nine million people. I just spoke at a at Dartmouth on healthcare. At, at the, the medical, medical school, school, or not, I, I guess, guess I wasn't actually, actually on the, the campus, campus, but the people from the medical school were at the, school were at the I, I, I want to be clear, I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it's a medical school or where the hell I spoke, but it was on the campus. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. If you want to be part of this campaign, pick up your phones. Pick up your phones. Now. Send a text. To the word United, to the number 30330, 30, 330, or 303330, or BOO, you got it, it's on the back there. If you like your employer-based policy, you can keep that policy. To say that LGBTQT people have no civil rights. And immediately change the law in the state of Delaware, protecting transgender people. I took on uh, Putin in terms of uh, Iraq. I mean, excuse me, in terms of uh, uh, um, what was going on in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend, she's been my friend in and out of public life, is... Uh, it will cost one-thirtieth, one-thirtieth, costs a lot of money, almost $740 billion to do what I want to do over 10 years, but not $30 trillion, not $30 trillion. And the reason is not just to help people who have or, are in fact, are and like to get Alzheimer's. Cut in half the number of uninsured of the Asian African, excuse me, the Asian American Pacific Islander community. Cut in half. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I'm so serious. Children, I love to hear them. The single most stressed gen I was asked to speak to the American Psychiatric Association to go over to the university, to go over to the University of London and speak to the World Psychiatric Association. It's interesting. I just spoke to the International Society of Psychiatric, uh, the International Organization of Psychiatrists, I forget the formal name of it, over in London because... Uh, this is not a Republican talking point. The Republicans are trying to kill Obamacare. Union workers, the UAW took incredible cuts in their future. Now we have a trillion, six hundred billion dollars worth of, worth of loopholes in the law. But I never thought, I never ever thought that I'd see what I saw in Charlotte. You know, I came home from law school. Avoid having an excuse to walk by the dealer and say, no, I, I'm not gonna be a mule. I, I, I'm, I, I, I got something to do, I gotta go do boom, boom, boom. If we just were to reinstill, re reinstitute the CAFE standards. And I think uh, Secretary, um, excuse me, I wasn't, a, the press gonna say I'm downgrading by calling him say, Senator Booker. And I was the one that suggested to the president, President Obama, I don't want to confuse presidents here. Look, we provide a Medicare option. That's exactly what Barack and I talked about in the beginning. Couldn't get it through, though. So I couldn't tell anybody Barack, but Barack. He's one of my closest friends. Sachs or Benetton's or Nike or whatever in the, in the market, in, the, in, the, in their uh, um, places where they, in the malls. Donald Trump does pose an excellent strength to this it's not hypothetical. We can put every one of them in school, cutting, 
cost the ha cut it in half the cost of a four year education. Be so, uh, why why they do that? I ran the the what they call the moonshot de dealing with cancer, and something after that set up the Biden Cancer Initiative. And the in here's the point: the conservative economist, or, excuse me, the columnist. And they'd say to you, take my shotgun. I said, I have three. I now have five because my son died and I have three of his. I have five shotguns. So have a mechanism to control drug prices. You know, the, it's, it's not, we're, we're no longer using chemical-based things. All this thing re, dealing with cancers and other issues related to the immune system are bio-oriented. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? We also know... We need teachers. My wife is a full-time teacher, taught all, all during being when we were vice president. But we lead by the example of our power, not just the power, not just the example of our power, but the example we're out there and it's what we say. By strengthening, by strengthening, by strengthening, we have to eliminate the funding gap that exists between minority